ka lang. <laughs> Wait, check ko lang akong lens ng camera niya. Ko na lang tong iPhone mo, phone. Are you serious? You don't need an iPhone in your life. Ang importante, maka-text and call ka. Da, talan nga, studyante sa university, naka-iPhone, wala kaya kabalo, din kayo katago nga caveman. Oh, sorry naman, ari lang ako sa library, gatuod ka gahin yung assignments. Diba, ano na, ang ginahin mo sa student sa isa ka university? Dapat maka-iPhone din, kuya! Jessa, look at it rationally. iPhone is too expensive. You can send music, photos, files to other device. It has only 12 pixels. You don't understand. Don't you want to be in? No. Well, I do. You won't be a tanan. Makabakal lang to cellphone na iPhone. Tanan-tanan. Tanan-tanan? Tanan-tanan. It just so happened that Jessa had something I wanted. I referred to his friend. Paul S. I had long coveted Paul S. My desire was that emotional in nature. I want Paul for a calculated. I'm well aware of the necessity of a successful lawyer to have a handsome, gracious, intelligent man. Paul is full of grace. He had an erectness of courage, an ease of bearing, a poise that clearly indicated the best of breeding. He can eat a hamburger without even getting his fingers moist. Chesa, are you in love with Paul S.P.? Bukas, friendly mo man lang ba na lang? Nga ah. May aral na ba lang kamong formal agreement? Like, kama na? Um, no. Kita ay na lang kami. Nga ah. So it means, if you are out of the picture, the field would be open. Is that right? Siguro. Ano din mo ba na pumangkot mo? Oh, nothing. Do you like it? OMG! OMG! Pero wait! Kilalata ka? Di ka maghatag kung wala si Bailo. Ano Bailo? Simple lang, ang iyo mga friend, si Paul S.P. What?! No! Hindi ko yung bugaw! Never! Well, if that's what you want, it's your decision. Okay, okay, wait. Um, friends na kami, di ba? Turn the phone on. I had my first date with Paul the following day. This was in the nature of a survey. I want to find out just how much work I had to get his mind up to the standard I required. First, he took me to dinner. Dinner, snacks, pare else may hagyapon? Oh, nga na kayo uniform ka galing ako? Siyempre, maraming thesis, assignments. My goodness, this food is so dope. Then, he took me to the movie. That was a sick film. I had gravely underestimated the size of my task. This guy's lack of information was terrifying. Supplying information is not enough. He needs to be taught to think. Paul, tomorrow we're gonna get together and talk. Oh, really? Ano story hanta? Logic. I had to go about the teaching Paul systematically. It happens that I, as a law student, taking the course of logic myself, I have all the facts and privileges. Oh, cool. 
logic is the science of thinking. Before we can think correctly, we must first learn the common fallacies of logic. I'm so stoked! First, let us examine the fallacy called dicta simpliciter. Dicta simpliciter means based on unqualified generalization. For example, exercise is good, therefore everybody should exercise. Mama, I mean, exercise is wonderful. I mean, exercise builds the body and everything. Exercise is good. It's an unqualified generalization. For instance, if you have heart disease, exercise is bad, not good. Many people are ordered by their doctors not to exercise. You must qualify the generalization by limiting it in some way. You must say exercise is usually good or exercise is good for most people. Otherwise, you have committed a dicto simpliciter. Do more! Do more! Very well. Next, we take up the fallacy called hasty generalization. Listen carefully. A student in this university cannot speak Karaya. I cannot speak Karaya! And another student cannot speak Karaya. I must therefore conclude that nobody at the University of San Agustin could speak Karaya. Too odd! Wala agad may nakabalo? Paul, it's a fallacy. The generalization has reached to hastily. There are too few examples to support such a conclusion. Oh, no any more fallacies? This is even more fun than dancing! Right. I guess let's call it a day. Pero gusto ko pa mag-learn more about fallacies. I-review mo na lang sa pagpuli mo ang yung istorya hanta. Paul has a logic proof head. I wasted a day. But maybe, just maybe, I'll give him another try. We'll have another session tomorrow. Pamati Mayo. A student talked to her teacher concerning her grades. The teacher told the student na drop na siya sa iya class. The student disagreed. Then the teacher asked what are the reasons to pass her in the first place. Then the student begged and said, I have a husband and six children at home. My husband is a helpless cripple. The children have nothing to eat. No clothes to wear, no shoes on their feet, there are no beds in the house. I am helpless, so please don't drop me in this subject. <laughs> this is awful. This is, this is awful. Yes, it's awful, but it's no argument. The student never answered the teacher's question on her qualifications to pass the subject. Instead, she appealed for the teacher's sympathy. So she committed a crime called Admissure or Jump. Do you understand? Do you have a handkerchief? <laughs> Next, we will discuss Paul's analogy. Here is an example of students who are allowed to use their textbooks during examinations. After all, surgeons have x-rays to guide them during an operation. Lawyers have briefs to guide them during a trial. Carpenters have blueprints to guide them when they are building a house. Why then shouldn't students be allowed to look at their textbook during examination? There now, that is like the dopest idea I've ever heard. Polly, the argument is all wrong. Doctors, lawyers, and carpenters aren't taking a test to see how much they have learned. But students are. The situations are altogether different. And you can make an analogy between them. I still think it's a good idea. Next, we will learn hypothesis. I have a long way to go with Paul, but hopefully my lesson has begun to sink in. Now it's time to make a move. Paul, 
Well, today we're not going to talk about fallacies. Oh, really? We got along splendidly, and it's clear that we are well matched. Hasty generalization. I beg your pardon? Hasty generalizations. How can you say that we are well matched on the basis of just only five dates? Damo na na ang five dates. More than one. Kag isa pa, hindi mo naman kinahangla na kainin ang bilog ng cake para mahambal nga manamit, di ba? False analogy. I'm not a cake. I'm a boy. But I love you. You mean the whole world to me. Okay, I'll say it. Will you go steady with me? If not, I will languish. I will refuse my meals. I will wander to the surface of the earth. A shambling, hollow-eyed hawk. Ad misericordiam. Well, you certainly have learned your fallacies. You're darn right. That's right. So you do owe me something, don't you, my dear? Kung wala sa ako, you never learn about fallacies. Hypothesis contrary to fact. Paul, don't take it seriously. You know this is classroom stuff, right? You don't use this in real life. Dicto simplicitor. Will you or will you not go steady with me? I will not. Nga ah. Kay Kagina, I promised Jessa that I will go steady with her. That rat? You can't go with her. She's a liar. She's an idiot. Poisoning the well. And stop shouting. I think shouting should be a fallacy too. Alright, alright. Let's look at this logically. How can you choose Jessa over me? Look at me. I'm a brilliant, tremendous, intellectual woman who has an assured future. Look at Jessa. A knithead, a jitterbug. She can't even know where her next meal is coming from. Can you give me another reason why you will go steady with Jessa? Simple. She has an iPhone. 